Today on Most Toy Room, we're going to unbox from McFarlane Toys and their Spawn line. Here is the red variant of Mandarin Spawn, and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room coming from my room to yours. And today we're going to unbox and review from McFarlane Toys and their Spawn line. Here is the red variant of Mandarin Spawn. This beauty is for ages 14 and up, comes with 22 points of articulation. And as you can see right there, we have Mandarin Spawn kicking back behind his window of pain, locked in this plastic prison. He brings two beautiful weapons of choice. He also brings a stand in there. The backdrop behind him looks really cool as it makes all his co colors be so vibrant as they just pop right off of the page right out of the box onto your screen we're going to turn it to the side right there you can see a lot of that mandarin artwork right there all over this box just screaming how nice this box is it's saying this box is awesome we're going to look all the way in the back right there you can see right there as mandarin spawn could look in action figure form if you choose to pose him that way you could put right there you could also see more of that side font along with that window of pain just kicking back right there all right folks so what we're going to do is we're going to take this beauty out of the box to save some time and we're going to be right back and review it all right folks first off the tail of the tape right here to the top of his head right here right below the big horn he's roughly around seven and a half inches which pans out to around 19 centimeters and then to the top of the horn is roughly around eight and a half inches, which pans out probably about 21 and a half centimeters. All right, folks. So right here, you could tell this is a variant. Okay. And what I mean by that is I have previously in my videos down below, you can look them up, have unboxed the Walmart exclusive variant of this same exact figure let me move that out the way for you can see his face all right these are the same figures they bring the same weapons everything is exactly the same one's blue one's red this is the walmart exclusive which is still available now both of these figures roughly go for around 19.99 um i think walmart has this one on their online for 19.96 maybe um and they'll ship it to your house but they'll charge you shipping but if you do like if you buy like $35 or more, you get like free shipping in the United States. This beauty right here came from the Big Bad Toy Store. And the moment they put up, put it up, it was available. I purchased it and I had it in my house within about three days. But it's taken me way over a week. Um, I've had a lot of things I had to take care of um, to um, do this unboxing. All right, folks. So let's take a quick look at these two. You can see them by the, their sides all the way around other side and back home all right so right here this guy brings a beautiful weapon of choice the artwork in this is just nice all the way around i love everything from the handle all the way to the gold leaf that's all up all over this thing um all the way to the dragon that's on the blade it is on both sides i like the way that mcfarland made it look like as if he's used it quite a bit this is a very nice soft plastic well soft plastic material especially the handle so in the heat um they tend to fold over and bend when you have them in your collection um as you could tell with what's going on with this guy already Okay, it's starting to get hot here in California. Today was about 87 degrees. And it's only the beginning of spring. Now you can see the other weapon of choice right here. This is right here. This would probably be the one that he probably would whoop on people the most with. You can see the handle looks cool. It's just battle ready. Just everything is nice. All right, folks. So also he brings a stand the stand is really nice has a spawn logo on it and these guys pretty much stand on their own um, they got really pretty big feet so their feet do all the standing real nice all right let's go through some overview on this a little bit 
you can see throughout the mask. Can you get in a little bit closer there, son, on the mask? This guy has a lot of detail. This mask all the way down to the, like, uh, Mandarin um, war uh, garment that he wears where it looks like it's a mask and looks like teeth and everything. All the, the little spikes and everything is all over this thing right here. This guy has it, okay? All throughout his garment, all the way around. When you look, it even has... It's even etched in with other colors on the inside of his um, arm protection right there that he has. All the way up. This is a nice piece. You can see little skulls all over everything. He has horns kind of on the back of his legs. He has the skull knee pads which are really just sharp. The detail all the way up throughout this thing. I could sit here all day and find new things that are etched in on this particular figure that I cannot see through the naked eye. And literally, when you turn it around, you can see more faces all over them. Just all this stuff. And when I watch it back on video, I'll probably see a whole lot more things that I missed. So if you're watching this and you see it, this is what's available. So like I said, I got this from the Big Bad Toy Store and I believe it's still in stock. So hit them up and they're, they're quick. It's like four bucks for shipping. All right, folks. So other than the color scheme throughout his apron, which is a nice soft plastic, really nice. You can see the dragon there. It has like that feel to it. When you feel it, it feels like a cloth material, but it's, it's plastic. It's a soft, um, plastic and it just has everything to it i love it it goes all the way around um this this is just a nice piece it really is i like the eyeballs that are on that skull that's on his chest and most of all his mask i love the mosque a lot it is just nice i love the artwork about it I just love the way that McFarlane just brung this to life just to bring us another breathtaking, pleasing product. All right, folks, so it's review time. Let's review this guy. Head goes down really nice. Looks up, not very much. Side to side, hits that Michael Myers very easily. Obviously, his head could spin around. Okay. I like that demon look. Man, this thing just looks just insane. All right, let's go down to the shoulders. This guy's going to surprise you. He has butterfly cup joints in here. And what's, what's vicious about this is you're going to think that all this, he's not going to have much mobility. It really... Oh, well, there went his arm. All right, let's see if I can get it back in there. All right, we're going to be right back, folks. McFarlane, you got to hook us up with some quality control, man, that... You know, this just happened live right here on the video. So I'll try not to go too high. There you go. This does not, it shouldn't hinder because it doesn't do it with the other one. Um, but with this one, it did. It popped right off. Arm does go all the way around. As you can see, it has like a dumbbell joint up in there. It moves around right here. And what's crazy is it looks like they put a butterfly cup joint on the actual arm arm the way that that moves and then had the and you saw it for yourself had like that dumbbell joint that just popped completely out of the inside of this thing and just came out with the arm so that was really weird i'm glad that i'm actually pretty glad that this happened because i really got to see what was in there but anyway you got that butterfly cup joint that hits all that forward backwards up and down really nice what's real nice about this thing is it also brings so the shoulder is right there but it also has a bicep swivel it has swivel at the elbow and then obviously the hand is going to move around okay along with the swivel at the elbow and the bicep swivel and then as far as double jointed arms let's see here i it's just so hard for me to tell i would say that this could very well be a single jointed arm all right check out the other arm 
the movements movements okay it's not bad okay there you go see how to position it with this thing just out the way doesn't bump into the, anything same exact thing forward back up down has that that bicep swivel and then swivel at the elbow and then he has his swivel at the hand let's check out the joints of the hands very nice look at that really nice I mean other than the fact that the arm popped off but we got it back in so all right right here below his garment right here he has swivel right below his chest area and then he should have some swivel let's see he does right there right at the waist okay so you got to grab this you got to grab this little piece right right here and hold that and then and then turn it through the legs and you'll get that okay all right so let's scroll all the way down i might have to do this from the back area for you can see okay look at that nice movement in the hips really nice does he have any swivel at the top of the leg anything nothing okay does he have swivel at the knees nothing okay so a solid piece right there but the thing is is the joint work on this is so good which causes that okay so as far as hitting that anderson silva kick the straight kick that's about what he's gonna do real nice side kick super nice okay either way doesn't matter okay legs move around really good and then like i said there's no swivel at the kneecap area none on the leg at all down uh, but he has double jointed knees so you can see the joint there don't joint there and it should go up and it goes up again you can see the knee pad comes up with it which is super nice cool feature other leg is exactly the same the joint work on this is nice he's moving really good i gotta say i'm liking this a lot and then as far as going right here to the actual feet he has a joint right there they gave us a pin right there all right so the thing is is this foot is also going to have swivel on the foot on both legs but it should pop down and up see that you see the hinge right there And the other foot is exactly the same. Hopefully the foot don't break. Let's see here. Oh, there you go. I could feel it. I'm not sure if I'm doing it. There you go. See that? All right. That's pretty much it for this guy. Um, overall, he's great. Like I said, I reviewed the walmart exclusive one before already um this one did not come apart in any areas at all but this one did so i don't know it could just come down to quality whoever they had in quality control it could just be a just maybe i just forced it a little too much i don't know but we fixed it and it's working perfect again all right folks so we're gonna wrap this thing up we're gonna get them together and we're gonna be right back first off folks i know we we're getting ready to wrap this up but my son brought something to my attention look at the knee pads different faces on the knee pads okay also on this spawn he brings this which the other spawn has versus bringing a sword type thing which on the walmart exclusive it has something completely different you see that so this guy the standard red brings different weapons than this is the same but these two weapons are completely different i just want to point that out all right folks so we're going to wrap this thing up we're going to be right back all right folks so that'll do it for most of to yours if you liked this video and have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so feel free to hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hit 
Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Mo's Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Mo's Toys on Instagram. We are also on TikTok at Mo's Toy Room. So hit up TikTok, punch in Mo's Toy Room, and we're there. We are also coming to Twitch this week. We're going to give it a shot, try a video out, see how it works. So go to Mo's Toy Room on Twitch. That's one word, Mo's Toy Room, and start following today and see what we can come up with. We're all in this together, folks. This is what collectors do. We enjoy watching other people unbox, review stuff. So that way it gives us an insight on things that we're thinking about buying or possibly have bought already. So if you have gotten either one of these, please feel free to hit up the comments. Let me know how you like them. If you know what all these weapons are, let me know exactly what they are. I would really appreciate the feedback. Um, and also from most term to yours, everyone. Good night.